We are given the problem that the average two-year-old is 84 centimeters tall. We're asked to convert this to feet and inches. Now, typically when we think about height, we think about, like, for instance, I'm five foot four inches. So we're going to make sure that when we write out this child's uh, height, that we're, we make sure that it looks kind of like that format. So there's a couple of things that we need to know. One, we need to know that there are 2.54 centimeters to one inch. And we also need to talk about the fact that there are 12 inches to one foot. Now, anytime we go between, or we have to use the U.S. system, I'm going to make sure that I write it out using those unit factors. So let's set up, let's do 84 centimeters, and I'm going to go ahead and convert this to inches. So because I'm coming from centimeters, I want that unit to go on the bottom because I want those two units to cancel out, and I'm going two inches so it goes on top. So I'm going to place in my unit factor here. So there's 2.54 centimeters to one inch. So the centimeters cancel out, and really what I'm left doing here is taking 84 divided by 2.54 to get my answer here. So let's go through that process. So if I do, let me change colors here so we can look at what we're doing. So if I do 2.54 into 84, the problem with this is we are not allowed to divide by decimals. You have to change decimals into whole numbers. So to do that, I'm going to move my decimal place two places here. Well, if we move it two places here, we also have to move our decimal point two places here. So I need to fill in with two zeros. So what I'm actually doing is 254 into 8400 and I'm going to put my decimal point back here in case I need it. So if we go through this process of dividing, well 254 won't go into 8, it won't go into 84, but it will go into 843 times. So 3 times 254 is going to give me a 762, so I'm going to subtract 762 here. So that's going to leave me with 78. Let's drop down our next zero. So 254 goes into 783 times again. We already know that that's going to be 762. That's going to leave us with 18. Let's drop down this zero. So 254 goes into 180. Uh, actually, it doesn't go into 180. So let's put a zero up here. That means we've got to put a zero down here because zero times 254 is zero. So it's going to leave me with 180. Let's go ahead and figure out how many, or let's go ahead and put another zero in here because we've got to bring a place down every single time we do this. So if I put a zero in here, we've got to figure out how many times 254 goes into 1800. That's going to be seven times. And actually, I'm just going to stop right here. I don't need to go any further. This is good um, because we do want to try to round our units off to whole numbers. <clears throat> so. To finish this thing out, this is what we're left with. So we know that this is actually equivalent to 33.07 inches. So we're going to convert this now into feet, and whatever's left over is going to be our inches. So we know that there are 12 inches to 1 foot. So I'm going to take this number we just got and divide it by 12. So I'm going to do 12 into 33.07. And really, guys, at this point, we can just round it off to the whole number. I'm just going to show you what's going to happen, though. 12 goes into 33 evenly twice, so that's minus 24. That's going to leave us with a 9. That's what's left over in terms of our inches. Now, I know that we do have this decimal part that we're supposed to contend with, but because we're just looking for a pretty number, we're going to say that the final answer here is going to be 2 feet 9 inches.